Hello, viewers. It's uh, the Ronnie and Clive show. We are back together for month. Uh, <laughs> coming up, is it month? Have we had month four? We're heading into month five? We're heading into month four. So we've, had, we've had three months. months. We've had so, three months. Is so yeah. much fun? You see, I can't even, I don't even know what month it is. Never mind what year. It's 1976. Uh, 19, okay. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, right, we are here. Modern technology. Uh, month three was. Night Stalkers. Yeah. Very exciting. And. We're absolutely buggered to glue together and now yeah. printing beautifully in one on support. Yeah. I've seen those coming off. Um, finishing dwarf fleets. Yeah, the XL and the flyers, they've gone out there now. So I've seen lots of people printing those and making big ravens and all sorts of things. <laughs> big big floating, uh, yeah. And then uh, the Empire of Dust fleet was started off. So this is the fourth of the, and the last of the first wave of the, uh, no pun intended, um, of the of the first release of our models. We also had our first gift month, didn't we? With, we uh, did. With pets. And they've gone down very well. I've certainly they seen have, a fair yeah. few of those on swarms and um, yeah, just they've been well received. On, lovely on bases as well, and army bases and new bases. <laughs> Before I kick on, we were. This is month four. Yes. So we're we're coming into August, month four, fourth pack along. But we're going to sneak peek what you're going to get if you stay with us until month six. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. That's that's your uh, next reward. For okay. Everyone. So we're going to be putting the health fade up, aren't we? Yeah, for the Abyss of Dwarfs. Wow. Really big, chunky model. Huge yeah. big kit. It's expensive. Uh, to buy it's a beautiful beautiful kit the minis on are absolutely stunning it's yeah. there and so if you hang around us to month six which is only a couple more months away you will be getting as your free gift your free um, loyalty reward yeah. the Hellfane so just look at that beast on the screen and, and enjoy yourselves yeah I think the other probably big thing that's just happened in uh, oh, July is about hanging and some of our stuff has gone up onto my mini factory so for it those now, people yeah. that are not subscribers we know people sometimes don't like to subscribe uh, or they just prefer i'm doing a halfling army i want the halfling i'm doing a night stalker army i just want to go along and buy what i want to buy that stuff is now up on um my mini factory it is yeah so uh, you can just buy whole fleet yeah as opposed to Packs having to work things, out of so. and the subscription yeah. is, a, is a heavily discounted it's a great way for your loyalty we thank you thank you very much for it we really do appreciate it and it allows us to keep supporting it but that we well, do understand some people don't like it and other people just want they want you can buy it from us if you can, but if not, you can certainly go to my mini factory yeah. and uh, get it from your usual place. So feel free to pop along and have a look for us there. Now, what have we got coming up, Claire? It's quite a bumper month, to be honest. There is so much stuff we crammed into this month that now, you might cry a little. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. And, <laughs> and, and at the moment, I think the only criticism I might have seen is, I love sci-fi, I love firefly, I love dead sign. Where's my toys on the vault? Yeah, so we, we've had a few exclusives already. You've had the medic, you've had a, a sniper for the goblins. There's a little hints that there might yeah. be some sci-fi coming, but we haven't really given you the full steak and chips no. scenario. Um, is that about to change in month four? Oh, I'd say so, yeah. <laughs> so we're treating the GCPS first. Right. Um, so there's a nice big army pack of them. Right. Uh, you're going to get lots of heads and arm options. Okay. So you can make ranger snipers, print them at home, all the arm bits to make sniper rifles. Okay, make... so buy a couple of sprues, a couple of boxes of plastics, and away yeah. you go. You can have a whole imperial. Go and be a GCPS army. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, great. Riot troop bits will be in there. You know, there's the weapon teams are going in there, so you can make the mortars and stuff like that. So. Everything you could want almost yeah. for your... Pick up a Strike is. Force for 75 quid, convert a ton out of it and you will have... Yeah. Um, or even a couple of infantry boxes. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's not even a great spend. You just need... Take it away. And, you can, and of course these are ubiquitous um, yeah. uh, guard troops that cover a lot of our yeah. armies, both for our games and others. You know, it's a great fun hobby project and I think that they also appear in all manner of contemporary war games. And, okay. um, they're always very good. So you, is I mean, it just infantry? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this big vehicles. pile of tanks here. There's, there's a few vehicles, vehicles here as well. So um, this is a unit entry in the new list called the Bronco. Right. Um, three different kind of army lists can have it. So for the GCPS, they get the standard version, which would be that one, with right. a nice big cannon on it. As you can see, it just slots on. And this is tying in with Firefight, which is now, there's also that annihilation option yeah, where so this it's 50% mechanised. I call it tanks, but we don't want I mean vehicle. Yeah. They're all tanks. Um, but vehicle options where you're playing, you know, with, with just a chunk more mechanised flying yeah. artillery. Vehicles everywhere. Yeah, and I think that's a really interesting space to take firefights into in terms yeah. of just uh, opening up to not an infantry game. 
So this just gives you the files to create the Marauder version, the Maison Labs experimental laser gun, okay. and a nice big cannon there, and it kind of just gives you the bits for the make that vehicle for your army list as well. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So there's there's a whole load more uh, conversion option pieces yeah. to go with your mules and to go with some of your other kits. And um, the, the actual top bit is the same diameter as the new tank commander from the command mule. Right. So if you've got some of those as well, you can obviously Which use the right commander to stick in there yeah, as well. Very good, very excellent. Okay, so there's the new stuff not released elsewhere. This is that's correct. That's exclusive this is, in the vault. So this first time we're really putting out ex the vault exclusive stuff for army entries that are in the vault. You can go in there and go and help yourself and get them printed. Yep. And then something cool we've we've wanted for a long time that we've we've made before was the harness carrier for a mule, and that is designed to work with a hornet. So this piece will be replaced, you print out the harness, you clip your mule in, and then you've got this mule carrier. So this this is just an aesthetics thing. Yeah. This is something that just looks cool. And, and, and of course you just, you know, I'm going to break everything off. Yeah, of course. And you, you, <laughs> yeah. And you drop exactly. the mule off in like, a, like yeah. something out of the battle of bulge. We just need to beg the rules committee to make some... Um, Rules to use it in a game. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. That's our next uh, next update. Okay, <laughs> command protocols. Yeah. There so, you if you've missed it, guys, command protocols book's just been released or just being released. It's coming out in August. It's going to be phenomenal. There's your tanks to go with it. And um, the rule book. I'm going to give a little plug. The um, command protocols updates everything. You know, it just cleans everything up. It's got all the errata in it. It's got all of the little things that needed to be teased out from that first edition of Firefight. It's got updated force lists because every single army got something tweaked, changed, balanced, improved. And then we also added a whole new section, in it, which was Annihilation, which is how you build your force if you want to start adding... Uh, far more mechanised units and of course the more mechanised units you want you need to have things, things that kill mechanised units so they're in your force list too so there's a whole way they've got really interesting scenarios so that you play different kind of scenarios yeah. with mechanised a bit more fluid a bit more um, uh, a bit more orientated towards um, you know uh, tanks and vehicles and planes kicking the living crap out of each other so so that's interesting and exciting so there it is a huge sci-fi month but that is not all is it Clive we don't stop no, there yeah. we don't just delight our sci-fi people no. what else have you got what else have we got um, this month well there's Armada so there's some more Armada okay. we'll be finishing off the Empire Dust right so you'll get your okay. XL and you'll get the Flyers fine so those uh, Empire Dust players get satisfied and yeah. that is the end of that first four fleets yeah. that we put out yeah which that's is right the first book and you've got everything there um Obviously, if you want to play, there's the companion app where the rules are. And I believe on the companion app, we now have the PDFs for all of your yep. boats to download. So you just click them on there, put them on a card, laminate them, and you're up and playing. You know, that was a missing piece. It was just a little bit of work for us to, to get around. But yep. all four of those fleets now have PDF uh, sheets. So if you bought the boat, you can download it. And I think added functionality later, which will be coming to subscribers, which I suspect most of you guys will be, uh, will be that you can, if you um, upgrade your ship or, or any enhancements you put on it, press turn it into a PDF, they will be then on the sheet and you can print those off as well. That yeah. is a subscription benefit, but um, yeah. uh, if you're just playing the standard game, away you get. Yes, exactly. Now, these don't look like Empire of Dust to me. No, those would be the next sneaky addition to the Armada STL range, and that is the Trident Realm. But didn't we just release the Trident Realm? Yeah, we did. But don't they look really cool? How did you sneak that past me? They do look really cool. I said you might cry. <laughs> I am going to cry. <laughs> uh, tear, run me tears of Trident yeah. Realms. So... Okay, so we've got we've just jumped out of sync, we've just jumped out of thing and we've gone yeah, straight to the coolest, best. Well yeah, we don't want to be too predictable. Okay, there we go. There is some guessing. mantic craziness. We've got yeah. the beautiful Trident Realms fleets uh, being added over the next I guess two months, first half and second. Possibly month. two, three months. Okay. Well, fine, so I might be decided. In, fine, but there's some you're definitely getting your Trident Realm stuff yeah. is landing in here. So uh, finish your uh, Empire of Dust and add Trident Realms. Big sea monsters. And then third, I can't wait to see someone blow one of these up. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but... You're going to do it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. absolutely going to do 28 it. 28 mil octopus is going to be fun. Oh my lord. Right, let's move on quickly. The um, And then finally, that's not all. You've got more. No, yeah, some more sci-fi love. Right. So the Overdrive minis were in last month. Right. They're very popular. They're yeah. kaiju, I've seen it being printed everywhere. Right. Um, so we decided to carry that on and okay. put a few more of those resin sculpts in as well. So this month you've got the bug, 
right. Viking, okay. and Tigrax coming too, which okay. is cross-purpose for Dead Zone as well. Okay, so some of those are Dead Zone models that are now appearing that can also yeah. um, they're also playing in an Overdrive. If you want to get your hands on a copy of Overdrive, jump on our website. Uh, we are running low on stock on that. It's been quite popular since we put it up on yeah. the um, on the vault last month people have been picking it up it's a great game it's really good fun it's quite light hearted uh, while being extremely violent um, so it's a great sports game it's got hints of, uh, of Dead Zone you know, Dreadball about it uh, you know the core mechanics are there but uh, it, it plays very differently because you've got three yeah. big guys uh, beating the living daylights out of each other so if you want one of those I'd, I'd kind of jump on there and pick that up sooner rather than later there's some deals on it at the moment uh, but um, there's not many of those left Clive that, that would be some well, reveals for this month. Wow. Well, Sci-Fi Month, Tanks, yeah. goes beautifully with the Firefight book. If you haven't played Firefight, please go and have a look at the free rules. Go and watch the videos. It is an incredibly slick game. You will enjoy it, whether you like to lean towards mechanised or just regular infantry. It's a beautiful game. Yeah. There's some STLs to get you going. There's obviously the free rules up on our website. And there's the full rule set for all of you subscribers that have got your, um, you know, they're all in. A subscription per month so you're up and running thank you very much is that us that's us yeah. all right see you next month Bye.